Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, Neil Artisan Educator here. And today we are going to paint a beautiful kind of peony flower, rose-ish flower. You can have a wee preview in here. There's going to be a one stroke level two, uh, so a little bit more advanced, but I will get with you step by step exactly how to do it. So you will be able to recreate that as well. Let's start this tutorial. So you can see this beautiful rose, like um, it's on level two, one stroke, and I will show you how to break it down and I show you how to recreate this look so you're able to uh, paint it as well. I've got my tip already in here and it's in black, but it don't have to be in black. You can use it also any other backgrounds as well. You have seen me doing lots of lots of one stroke and uh, this one try maybe something easier to start off i will try to break this rule like everyone is like i want to paint the rose i want to paint the rose uh, especially when i'm doing the one stroke because uh, they look so super cool but they kind of more advanced design so you really need to take a control over your brush before you're able to paint like a um, nice roses but anyway we are going to use some nice red color actually in magenta and dip magenta looks really nice as well but that's the color which i have been using or maybe i will have to and <laughs> that's the color which i have been using many times oh gosh okay this one is almost dying at the end i'm just going to yeah it's really almost at the end this paint So I'm just squeezing it like this and probably maybe two more designs and this paint is gone. And then I want to use some flesh instead of white. That's a number 15. So you can see it, I'm liking one stroke. So this one is going to be off as well. I'm just going to squeeze this out. I have been actually painting quite a lot of one stroke recently, but I don't want to bin those paints because there is still lots of actually product in there. White is brand new, so it's going to squeeze it really nice and easy <laughs> for a change. Cameraman is laughing. And so those the green guys. Sorry, I have been, like I, I'm using the paints like really a lot and and I don't want to bin them just because there is little at the end and they harder to squeeze out. I'm right, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, a bit embarrassing like on the beginning of the video, but uh, those guys of you who know me like uh, wouldn't mind. So it's only a new people watching this video. I'm not normally like this, guys. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, start the, this beautiful tutorials and a drop of the black. Oh, I'm so disorganized today. And the reason for a black is the drop of the black. I know we've got the black background, but I want to kind of really um, make the design to pop out, especially the middle part, because that's what is the hardest part, okay? So I'm going to add a drop of this black, like a tiniest drop, a really tiny drop into my red. And that's what you're starting with. You're starting painting like an... A splash of the color on the background and that's just so your rose can it's hardly visible just because we've got those black background but just so the rose is um, visible there and then i'm going to do another one in here so we'll do two just in case if you missed uh, first time how to do it i'm cleaning my brush really well and now we can start painting the leaves and the roses so I will start with the leaves just because this middle part needs to dry quite a lot and uh, I don't want to waste the time. So one side of my brush has picked the green, the other side of my brush has picked the white. I'm mixing those two colors well and now I'm going to paint some leaves. So touch, touch. The brush has like a really nice tip so 
it's kind of almost painting the shape of the petals and the leaves on its own. That's why I love this brush so much. Okay, we've got the first leaf. Pick up a drop more paint. And I love this green for the roses. It's so nice. So going to the point, then white touch white, bring it down and then a couple of the touches. Okay, so we have created another leaf. Then another one, I want it to go on the side. So touch, touch. And it can even overlap the previous leaf. Okay, we have created some leaves. Going to clean my brush and what is cool, the black black and red dot in the middle has dried now so each time when I'm cleaning my brush and I'm introducing the water I need to dry out this water if you've got too much water it is not going to it is going to make your paints too watery now the first the first row I'm going to pick up the flesh color the light pink and the red and mix it well And now we are going to paint the row of the petals, which is outside. So kind of like an wee triangle shape. Another one going to the top. Pick up again the paint. I love painting one stroke, like it's such a nice technique. Leave the gap. Another petal there. So I'm kind of massaging the paint. Once you start feeling the paint goes a little bit dry, it pick it up a little bit more or dip in your brush in the water just to introduce a little bit more water. My paint is going to dry kind of more quicker just because first of all the red and um, flesh color is almost at the end. So that's the main reason for it. It's a little bit drier. And then it's quite warm in here as well with all the lights. And So I'm just painting another petal here. Clean my brush. And each time when I clean the brush, I also squish it as well. Now it's the time to create the middle. So the middle is really important that it looks nice because the petals are going into different direction in the middle than they do um, on the outside part. So I'm mixing my paint really well. Adding a drop of the flesh just because the pink and uh, red and white is too two kind of contrast okay and now I'm painting like on my brush touch okay so you can see how it's touch I'm going to go down and up <laughs> so touch down and up so this way I have created kind of wave I need to do it quicker sorry guys And this is a part which needs to be done really nice and neat. Okay, so down and up. And now painting exactly the same. So my brush was this way, now painting exactly the same, but opposite way. Okay, 
So this way we have created a beautiful middle of the rose. Wait for it to dry and we are going to do exactly the same on this place and this place here. So you cannot touch your light color because then it is not going to be visible. And I'm working only with the tip of my brush. So only with the tip of my brush. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. I can even use a touch more white, just so the color stands out more. So this way you can see the colors creating another petals. Okay, and this is a row of the petals which is like kind of creating a rose which is closed. And now we have to just add the petals which are inside. So I'm waiting for this one to dry. Those roses are kind of time consuming, especially when I explain everything. <laughs> like it's taking a little time, but I don't want to rush this design. So you can easily paint just with the tip of your brush. To create those petals which are kind of um, closed. <laughs> I'm going to clean my brush and we can move on into the next step. So I'm going to do another row of the petals which are outside. So here my brush was this way and then I'm swapping and going this way. So again, pink and red. Okay, I have mixed it, the paint again well. And I'm going to paint the petals which are going outside. Another week up. Another week up. So my brush is at the angle. Okay, this one I need a bit more definition just because the color, the, the way the color is mixed in. So I have added a drop of the white in my color. Just so the petal is going to stand out a bit more. And working just with the tip of my brush, tip of my brush, kind of really straight brush. Okay, I need to make this petal to overlap. Going to clean my brush and show you another one. So if I want the big petals, my brush is going to kind of lie. If I want the small petals, it's more straight brush and working more with the tip of the brush. So mixing my paint well, and I cannot do mistake when mixing the paint because it's such as the tile it design like the rose. Uh, if you do make a mistake when mixing your paint, it's not going to work. That's why I take so long time to mix my paint. Okay, at the angle, so starting at the angle. Almost straight brush, very straight brush. Okay. 
pick up my paint again. And I'm going to squeeze the last petals. So I need one in here. I need one in there. Very straight brush. I need one in this place. <laughs> so this is going to be a very difficult petal. Straight brush. And then we are going to paint the same petals here. And basically that's the part which we have done like with the big brush finish for the rose. The rest we have to do it with the fine liner brush. So I'm just cleaning my brush. So I can pick up the green and then we can outline everything. So green and white mixed together. Now I want some leaf in here. Maybe I show you a uh, folded leaf as well. So touch, touch. Nice tip. Wait for it to dry. If it's not dry, we cannot paint the leaf which is folded. So I need some leaf in here as well. Just so I've got some sort of balance. Okay, now let's do the folded one. So we have went like this and normally for a normal lift I would bring it down and go like this but now I want the lift to be bended so I'm I'm starting at the different point and doing exactly the same movement like I did the first time and then just a tip of the brush so this way the lift look like it's kind of folded mm, just for a balance I need something on the top and I need something in there just because the first lift I have painted I put them a bit outside so touch touch okay so now is the time for a fine liner brush I'm taking a D-liner brush and lots of water into my white. We could, oh sorry, <laughs> we could finish painting this design, uh, but I want to add the detail into it. So very, very thin lines, quite a lot of water, little paint. I've got only paint more into the tip of my brush and I'm just outlining the detail. This is just really to give it a little bit more definition.
painting one stroke is very very therapeutic I have to introduce more water and I don't want to outline every single petal because it will look too too fake so just some of them And you can make some places which are a little bit thicker, some places which are thinner. My clients love when I do some one stroke for them on the nails. Yeah, guys, if you're new in here, and this is one of the first videos you have watched, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of lots of interesting tutorials on this channel. And to you guys which are watching me for a long, long time, thank you so much for your continuing support all the time, for all your likes, comments, shares and everything. Because that's what is keeping me motivated to produce more and more of those videos for you. I love this brush so much. Like it can it can give me such as tiny wee lines. Like a veins inside the leaves. Don't overdo it like I'm going to stop in a minute. <laughs> and she keeps going okay, so that's those folded leaf couple of the tiny wee lines And the dots, and I'm promising I'm finishing this design. Talk, <laughs> you know, once you start painting, you cannot stop. Just tiny wee detail. So uh, that's the rose finish. Uh, something a little bit more advanced. Uh, and I hope you have really enjoyed watching this uh, tutorial. So here is a previous rose I have painted. And I show you how the design pops out once the top coat goes on it. Actually, when I'm doing the one stroke tutorials, it's awesome because the light reflection doesn't uh, disturb your view. Uh, so this is just uh, perfect. But look like how much depth is coming into the one stroke once the top coat goes over it. So beautiful. And hit the share button for me, please, so the others can see it. Uh, as well so the channel can grow so it gives me more motivation to record even more videos for you so that's that's this rose finished i'm just going to uh, cure it and i hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorials glittery hacks and bye for now